Compromising positions takes place in a wealthy suburb on Long Island where a society dentist has been murdered and Susan Sarandon, his patient, was one of the last people to see him alive. She used to be a newspaper reporter. Now she decides to turn herself into sort of an amateur Nancy Drew and solve this mystery all on her own as a freelance. In this scene, she talks to Chicago actress Judith Ivey, who plays a sculptress who's her best friend. Well, did they have any idea who did it? Well, they didn't say. I don't know. I, maybe it was an addict looking for drugs or, or uh, someone whose gums were still bleeding after $50,000. Uh, it's too boring. It's probably somebody he was... I heard that gum surgery took second place for old Brucie. Sarandon's investigation takes her to the murdered man's in-laws who might know something about who would want to kill him. They're calling us with all sorts of questions. You know, uh, did we know Bruce's friends? Uh, did he ever mention uh, pornography? Somebody doesn't want Susan Sarandon to investigate this murder, and when she comes home, she finds her kitchen totally torn up. Her husband is played by Edward Herman. He's mad in this scene. You are a wife and a mother and a former journalist, so don't get grandiose with me. I want to know exactly what you've been doing. I've been trying to tell you, you haven't been interested. I'm interested now. Oh yeah, now you're interested because it's about you and your house. One of the subplots in the film is a sort of quasi-love affair between Sarandon and Raul Julia, who plays a local police detective. Investigation, so you really shouldn't be angry with me. I should be grateful. Well, I, let's not exaggerate, but... I shouldn't punch you in the mouth. No. This movie has a real good cast. Susan Sarandon is one of my favorite actresses. Judith Ivey and Joe Mantegna, who plays the murdered dentist, are both good Chicago actors. But the movie never really works, even though it could have been a lot of fun in a kind of a kinky, offbeat way. And the problem, I think, is that this movie hates its characters so much. There's a real bitterness in the way that these people are portrayed and the way we see them, and that kind of turns us off. So I can only give compromising positions two stars. I'm Roger Ebert. Thank you.